Alrighty guys, so on to part three now. Here I am on one of the signature holes, which is a par five, as you saw from the drone fly over there, courtesy of Bondville Golf Course. Uh, trying to play a cut here, just down, favouring the left-hand side, so it rolls just before the bunkers. Played it reasonably well. I don't think we're going to pick it up here, just because of the way the sun's shining on the camera. But look, it was an average shot, got down about 280, but I mind you, it was downhill. On to the approach here. Now, this is probably going to be the worst shot of the day. I just lifted my head as you can see. Ball rolls down, but it actually rolled almost 200 meters downhill. Got a nice little wedge here. Now this is one of the shockers of the day. I actually thought I was going to be too long and then a the big gust of wind as you see the flag. Oh, lands yeah. about a foot from the green and rolls all the way back down. That that pin is oh. right on the front. I couldn't believe it. Oh, yeah, I was a little angry, but yet yeah, I brought out the trusty uh, Texas wedge. Hit it up there, a little bit too much curry and it's gone past the hole. But, you know, at least I've got a puff of par for that disastrous uh, third shot. <laughs> well, I was going to say, well, maybe a putt to go in. Yeah! Woohoo! Now, that's a weird par. Finally! <laughs> there was a... Uh, so... Go look at my reconditioned ball we saw all. Yep. It says Bubba Bash. Bubba Bash. 2000, Arkansas. So a reconditioned Premier One's made it all the way to Brisbane from Arkansas, United States. Alrighty guys, fresh off a Hail Mary par. Here I am now into a very tough par three. So I've made solid contact there, I've hit a nice five iron, it's pushing left to right, but the wind is slightly into and going right as well. So naturally the ball's kind of, you know, the wind's gone, the ball's gone off the fade, sorry. And there I'm in the back of the green, so I'm really happy with that shot considering it's a quite a long 180 meter hole, I think it was. I've got a really downhill punt and it's kind of wind is pushing it right to left. I didn't realise till I played here how much wind actually has an effect on some of these greens. Because there's not a lot of branches lower on these trees to stop the wind, so a lot of the wind gets through on the greens. But a pretty average to bad lag putt, and then obviously, like the way today's going, it's leaving me with a lot of these, you know, three to six feet little putts for par, which I'm not doing. I'm doing okay with, but not great. But as you can see, I've putted and it's kind of lipped out. So yeah, there's a bogey right there. So four over through eight. Another bogey, so I think that's four over through eight. So that's that's a tough hole. Look at that. Into the wind, it makes it even harder. So four over through eight, onto the north. guys so fresh off a bogey now I'm coming onto the ninth and the first thing I'll add it is quite strange seeing off on a ninth going away from the clubhouse but you know what I'll get into that later because there is a spare hole in the front nine there anyway uh, this one here slight fade but on the fairway just on the rough there past the bunker it's left me with about I think 60 meters in now the bunker on the right there I didn't realize at the time but it actually goes all the way around to almost where the flag is there Thick rough, got a little bit heavy, but it does land on the green, and that's what I was getting around the bunker. I actually thought it was in the bunker, and there it is right there. So it's left me with approximately about a you know, 10 metre putt, and as you can see, it's a nervous putt, uh, park on the ground stuff. I just gave up on moving a lot of that stuff because it just broke right back on. But um, it's a bit of a left to right, uh, as you can see there, the wind is still blowing like crazy, and look at all the stuff lying on the green there. It's just Damn near impossible to hold anything today, but yep, I've looked at again or just short. And there's another bunker, another bogey, part of me. So five over for nine. I'm not too unhappy with that, considering it's a tough course. I'm playing off the blue tees, which is the second hardest on the course. But yeah, uh, let's get on to the uh, back line. Alrighty, guys, so there was a bogey. Part is not really working too well on the front nine so far. A lot of wind, a lot of bark on the green, so I'm just kind of thinking I'm rushing shots, you reckon? Yeah. Rushing putts and stuff. Um, yeah. Concentrate. Yeah. Thoughts so far on the front nine. Look, it's a nice course. It's very hard. Um, as you can probably see so far, it's pretty much rough. Probably five metres of rough and then just bushland. So really you've got to be pinpoint. And what makes it worse, the fairways are so undulating moving left to right that we've hit balls 
in the middle of the green has rolled right off down past the bunker and or down into the bunker like some crazy roll like Yep. It's We've hit balls in the middle of the fairway that go missing. Yeah, balls in the middle of the fairway that go missing, you know, and then, then you find them, you know, where they wouldn't, is, you wouldn't even think they'd be. Um, so far, I'm liking the course. I wouldn't say I'm, to be honest, I wouldn't say I'm loving it because my expectations are so built up high based on the website and a few videos I've seen, and um, it's nice, but I'll let you know if I can justify the 129 price tag. We'll see. So, uh, but yeah, enjoying it so far. Five over through nine. Any thoughts? No. Nothing? Nothing.